Oh, hey guys. Um, to start TTM Tuesday, I was just going to show the randomization and giveaway for the Kevin Romine autograph that received TTM last week. I had only two people respond, which is kind of telling about uh, how new my channel is. Uh, Eddie's Eddie from Eddie's Baseball Autographs and Weber's Mile High Card. So I entered each of your names, a uh, I think six times, to just make it a little bit more interesting using a wheel to side. So... You know, sorry for the room energy video, but we'll choose a winner right now. I'll click it, it'll randomize, and then we'll see who gets it. Um, I will be setting up an email shortly specifically for my channel. I'll include a link below, so whoever wins it, please just set, email me your address. Um, I'll also make sure to include a link in the description of your channel as well in case anybody else wants to view or subscribe. So good luck to both of you for the Kevin Romine 1990 Upper Deck signed card. And the winner will be Weber's Mile High Cards. So if you can email me using the email address in the description, um, your address and name, I will get that out to you this week. Um, for anybody else, I send away one TTM a week with some extra cards from my common box, and we'll be giving them away as I get them back. So please keep tuning in. Um, in a moment, I will be back with my weekly successes for TTM Tuesday. Okay, well, congratulations again to Weber's Mile High Cards for winning the Kevin Romine autograph. It's time for me to open up my weekly returns for another TTM Tuesday. This week I have four returns, um, and as always, I haven't checked who they are. I haven't checked the postmark. I have no idea what's in there. Um, I did see the stamp on this last one, um, and it is older. Also, the envelope is different. I haven't used these envelopes in a while, so this this last one right here seems like it'll be an older return so I'm kind of excited to see what that is um, and if you have, haven't watched my videos before every week I send out one um, request from my common box and then I give away um, an autograph from a return from that player um, I don't know if I have any this week to give away we'll find out of course but make sure you keep checking back to my TTM Tuesdays um, this week I believe I am sending out to Jeff Facero care of his minor league team so when that comes back I'll be giving away hopefully a signed card in there as long as I get a signed card or two. Um, without further ado, first return of the week. Index cards. Dick Schofield signed two index cards. I did include two cards with that. Both vintage. A 69 tops and a 71 tops. So both of these are new, not Dick Schofield. He did play for the Red Sox in 1969. Um, picture on the back in his Cardinals hat. Um, neither one is a high number. 396 for the 71. I don't think I'll choose the 69. Um, Dick Schofield, long-time player. He was also a member of the 1960 Pirates, who won the World Series. They are maybe the best signing team if you took a, like, a World Series winning team. So many players on that team sign. Um, even more before a couple of them. Sorry, I'm trying out my new tripod today, so I'm not used to having uh, something here in front of me filming. Uh, number two. way in there. It is Will Middlebrooks. Very nice. So he's been signing recently. Um, I only have one card of him because for a long time he didn't sign. And as you can see he inscribed it 2000 World Series Champs Boston Strong. Obviously my letter was focused on that season. Um, very solid return for the Red Sox collection. Uh, first time I've gotten him back in the mail. Um, previously I had purchased this autograph, but this will will become tops in my Red Sox collection, which I do plan to start highlighting in some show it off Sundays. I haven't gotten around to filming yet. Um, he was one I wanted to make sure to strike while the iron was hot, just in case he stopped signing, because, you know, a relatively modern player signing is, is a little bit more rare. Number three, it looks like I have a long, long letter. And a nice vintage return from Ray Ripplemeyer of the Cincinnati Reds. It's a 61 Tops rookie card. He also signed two index cards for me. This 61 came out of an estate sale purchase. And it was just kind of lying around. And then I realized I hadn't checked if he signed in the mail. He does. So it's nice to add a 61, especially a rookie. Um, and in the old school Reds jersey, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to read it. But this letter is on the back of mine, and it is awesome. 
it is a full page. Did spell my name wrong, but many people do. That's awesome. So this is why I love writing to older players, um, particularly you know asking questions, um, giving details that I think are neat about their career. Um, you do get responses. I think in my TTM Tuesdays, that's the second full letter response you've seen me get. Um, Ken McKenzie a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> and the last return of the week is the older one. It is a Danny Schaefer. This was sent well over a year ago. So he was a member of the Red Sox uh, in the late 80s, I believe. Um, he, he signed a 94 Topps card for me. I did send a 96 Fleer, which has no gloss on it, which would have been nice. I'm happy to get anything back, though, so this will be added to my Red Sox collection. Um, this return most certainly took over a year. Um, I believe I sent it in May of 2017, 2018, May 2018. So we're looking at 14 months on that. So, you know, when you remember when you send TTM, you know, try not to expect a return in a week. Because one, I find that that kind of prohibits you from sending to some guys who take a while. And it also kind of takes the fun out of it. And, you know, when you get a return that you're not expecting, like with Danny Schaefer today, it's kind of exciting. I mean, I was wondering who, who it could possibly be knowing that I don't use this style envelope anymore. Um, but if you're only sending to guys within that return in a week or you're just expecting it back in a week, well, it kind of loses its fun. Remember, this hobby is just for having fun, seeing what you can build um, kind of on the cheap. You know, TTM isn't very expensive. It's a nice way to build a really nice collection, especially if you do some research and target stuff you like. Um, maybe you like vintage, maybe you like a certain set. I kind of have a mix. I like the Red Sox, I like vintage, um, and then anybody who, you know, is an all-star, you know, did something unique, and then in the end, if they had a baseball card, I'm interested in it. Um, so, you know, again, congratulations to the winner of the Kevin Romine. None of these cards were um, the for the giveaway, so no giveaway this week. Uh, please check back next Tuesday when I open up the returns that will be coming back this week, and perhaps we'll get something back to give away. Um, as always, thank you for watching my videos.